Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How are you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Uh, also a new note, I'll be working on some Udemy courses. If you want to check that out, they'll be up in a little bit. Um, the link should be in the description. And yeah, check out Discord as well if you want to do that. But here we are. We're going to work on the next video. Am I even recording right now? think so yeah okay I'm recording all right let's go so what we did in the last video we created a class called GUI now it's been a long time since I worked on that last one but we're gonna revert these changes and we're gonna work with GUI in a different way and it's gonna be a little more a little more simple a little more simple so let's just start off by removing that so it's not gonna take too long remove that private GUI in the game class all right and you just want to go down you want to remove this whole in a GUI thing I remove the function call from the game constructor. Go ahead and remove this render thing right here. Okay. And uh, pretty much good to go right there. All right. Really, really good. All right. Now we have our states pushed into a, uh, a stack, right? And we'll be able to update these states eventually. And run, what that's going to do is it's going to update the states for us. Now, we're not doing that right now. We're just updating numbers. But I thought we'd get to that. And we'd save this whole GUI thing for a while. I'm just going to clear it out a little bit like this. And just keep it empty. And we'll get to that in a bit. All right. But let's start off by opening main menu state right here. And actually, we'll, we'll work with this in tandem. I'll, I'll work on this and the GUI at the same time. And depending on our needs. Uh, but first of all, while... The game is running. I don't want to do all this. All right, this is just the test uh, test stuff. Um, what I want to do is I want to get in and I want to start updating my states. And what does state have? Well, state is a just a class. All it has is its state stack. But we need some more functions, right? So each state is going to have a update function, a public. Update function and this function is going to be called and it's going to do a bunch of stuff and it's going to be a public void not read void update like that and we're going to make this a function each of these states will have so let's just go ahead and copy that put that into main menu state and what this does is here we go. Virtual. We'll just call that virtual right there. Virtual. So virtual is going to be a keyword that allows us to call this function. Keep this empty in state.cs. All right. The state class itself, the base class. We have this defined here. We'll do an override update sorry so what this does is it overrides states original one all right it overrides it and whatever happens in here will be called or depending on the uh, state that is being updated its uh, respective function will be called sorry about that i didn't know how to put that into words but okay so let's just put this into action um let's see this states dot Let's see, dot peak, it would be peak dot update. Okay. And that's what it's going to do. It's going to update the state that's on top at all times. If this states dot, let's see, dot count is greater than zero. So if it's not empty, then we're going to do this. Otherwise, if it's empty, obviously, we don't want to update it. Uh, and then we'll, we'll be able to call an end state from here. And we'll update that as, as we go along. But I'm just going to control X all this. And I'm going to just go ahead and put that up here. Save that. Go into my main menu CS. And I'm just going to put this here. Everything I had, I'm just going to put that in here. And I'm going to remove all of this for now. And we'll just input a number. Very simple. We'll get a printout. We'll get a number, input it, all that stuff. Um, and that's great. Before we do 
though. I'm just going to do a little bool uh, end. All right. Let's do that. There we go. Whoops. Okay, so let's just run this and see if this works. It should update the first state. If I had a number, two, three. Okay, so it's updating my first state. And that's exactly what I wanted. All right. Um, and our end is going to be something we can access in here as well. So if this uh, or if number is less than zero, we'll say this. God damn. Hold on. This end. Well, let's see. Why is that not working? Um, protected. Protected. All right. So we want protected so we can see it in our child class. This end equals true. Okay. And that's all that's going to do. And then we we'll create one more function in here that gets this end variable. And we're not going to call it just get end. What we're going to do is we're going to call it a public public uh, bool wants end or uh, request end. So I'm like, it sounds horrible. It sounds like it wants it die basically, but pretty much that's what it is. Um, this and public bool request end. Okay. Now, there's a reason why we're going to handle all the ending of the states out here. That's because our state state stack, our main state stack is out here in game. And we don't want the while loop to go into a state that's been deleted. So we want to make sure we have control over this. All right. So if So, first of all, why is this being so annoying? I don't know why. It like makes my stuff out here in like nowhere. For some stupid reason. Okay, it's probably some auto indent thing. If you're having the same problem, let me know. I'll try to fix this. Uh, let's put that in there. Because we're going to need more stuff in here. So we're peaking it. We're peaking it. We're updating it. Now we know by now, after the update's been called, if we want an end to this specific state, then we're going to do state dot pop. All right. That's all it's going to do, but only if, god damn it, if this states dot peak dot want, wait, where did it go? Wait, where did it go? Hold on. Public, no, request end, request end, it's supposed to be a big R as well. Request end. Request end. And then we will pop it. So it's a very simple kind of thing, right? So we're first we're updating it. All right. Then we're checking, does it want to end? Okay, if it does want to end, we, all we have to do is pop it. Then the deconstruct will take care of everything. We don't have to care about anything. And then the next, uh, the, the next state on that stack that was below this one will start being updated. See how that works? So we can go up and down from state. So what does it see? I'll write all these numbers. Okay, minus one. Boom. We ended the game or we actually we didn't end the game we came here we popped it um but we're still in the while loop and this end while you know what we could do actually we could do this states is dot count is greater than zero we could just do the while loop in here instead that makes more sense because then we're just working until there is a state. While there is a state. Otherwise, we'll end the game. So pretty much, let's try ending the game. Boom. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. We're good. We're good. So, just a little quick recap. Uh, we added the end variable to state. We made sure the state has an update function that is virtual. So that any child class can access it or override it. And we did just that. We over overrode it, right? Uh, in our main menu for state. Um, and then just did a bunch of stuff in here and made sure we could end the end the state. Now we need to add the same stuff in our game, and that should be pretty fast. 
since all we need to do is copy paste this update function. So let me just control C that, put that right in here. And once that's done, shouldn't have an issue there anymore. Blah, blah, blah. Good, good, good. So if my theory is correct, before we end the video, since we have the same thing in here, let's go to game. Let's make sure we push another state in. So first we're going to push the main menu state in. Now we're going to do the state game right there. And we'll run this. Now there should be two states here. So if I do minus one on this one, the next one should start. If I do minus one on that, it will end the entire game. If you want this to be more clear, what we can do here is we can do a little game in there. And what we can do in here is main menu. And if we run this again, we'll see this change. So first of all, we're going to see game minus one. Now we're in main menu state. Minus one, we ended the game. There you go, guys and girls, pretty much. I mean, it's it doesn't get any simpler than that. Um, we have our state functionality working for us. The next step is going to be to actually add things to the state. So like I said, I'm going to start adding some GUI elements. We're going to make it look nice with some colors and everything. And we're going to start adding all the important fun stuff like the character, all that. So I hope you look forward to that. C Sharp is great. It's fun. Um, I do recommend you to just go check out some other C Sharp tutorials online and uh, this is really good really good language but there you go thanks for watching thanks for sticking with me thanks for being patient with me as well and uh, hopefully i'll be able to post more videos more often take care i'll see you guys and girls in the next one all right bye bye